Continuous Scene Representations for Embodied AI Supplementary Video We provide a method overview. First, we discuss the creation of our local scene representation from a single frame. Next, we discuss going from the local representation to a global representation, which is created on the fly and aggregates information over multiple frames. Finally, we discuss a strategy for linking the representation to the agent itself. Method Overview Consider an embodied agent in the scene. At time step t, it observes image i sub t. Using a scene representation module, we extract local information from the frame and use it to update a global continuous scene representation, or CSR. The CSR is shown as a feature volume. The main diagonal represents features for the scene objects. The off diagonal gives features of directed edges that represent the ordered relationships between pairs of objects. The image is captured by an embodied agent that keeps track of its actions to get into different states, where states are visualized here as blue circles. We call this second graph the embodied state graph. At each state, it is possible to keep track of the nodes that are seen from that state. In this case, three nodes are seen, one for the kettle, one for the salt shaker, and one for the pepper shaker. A policy network gives the next action, which is simulated to give the next image. We can now update the embodied state graph, storing a new node and connecting it to the existing state graph with an edge decorated by the action taken to get to the new red state. Local scene representation. To update the scene representation, we must first extract local information from the current frame. We used a trained faster RCNN detector to get detections for this frame. Each detection will correspond to a node. By considering all pairs of detections, we get a batch in this case, of nine inputs. Each input is five channels, the first three being RGB, the fourth being a mask for the first object, and the fifth a mask for the second object. Using a CSR encoder, we get corresponding features for these inputs. Here, edge features are shown in blue and node features in green. The features can be used to create an adjacency matrix, where the main diagonal gives the node features and the off diagonal gives the relationships between objects or edge features. What is a good objective for learning the embedding space in which node and edge features live? Our insight is that features should be multi-view consistent. For example, if the same relationship is seen from two different angles, it should live in the same portion of the embedding space. More concretely, take a view, in this case view A. The first detection is of a sink, and the second of a stand. Now given some view view B with the same two objects, we can consider these a positive pair for purposes of a contrastive loss. Features corresponding to these relationships should map to a similar area in the embedding space. Considering other relationships or negatives for a contrastive loss, these negatives should live in other portions of the embedding space. 
We want to bring in local information from the local CSR into the global CSR. Hence, we design a matching function to update the scene representation on the fly. We consider the node features of both volumes and compute an inner product of the node features. Features with high similarity are indicated in white in this score matrix. Using a Hungarian matching algorithm, we get matches between the two sets of nodes. Already, we can find features that do not match, such as this bright green feature. For features that do match, we get initial assignments between local and existing global representations. Using a score threshold, we can further filter for only confident matches. With the node correspondences, we can now update the global CSR, averaging in appropriate node and edge information. Linking representation to the agent. So far, we have discussed extraction of node and edge features and our strategy for integrating new local information into the global representation. Now we discuss how to link an agent to the scene representation for use in downstream tasks. Consider the top-down view of a scene for visualization only. As an agent moves, it visits various positions in the map, which we call states. Here, they are visualized as blue circles. The transition between these positions are mediated by the agent's known executed action. Transitions between states are visualized as arrows. We call this collection of states and transitions the embodied state graph. Recall that each state, the agent only has access to its current egocentric view. We would like to save references to the objects that are seen from this state so that if we need to return to find this object again, we can look up where to move and the sequence of actions to take to get to this position in the state graph. Hence, we save references to the nodes that are seen from each state. In this case, three references are saved for kettle, salt, and pepper shakers. Thank you for watching.